Very soon your TCS and QT exam will begin and in this particular video if you are writing code in C++, Python, Java then you need to know how you can take the input in the TCS and QT compiler because their compiler is not made for beginners. Yes guys, you need to know if you are writing your code in C++ and Java. See, there we don't have an indentation problem so most of the time people won't face issues but in java sometimes like if you change the class name okay try to stick with main if it is possible otherwise i don't heard that it, this is a class name problem can occur there but in c++ also you can use anything because there is not having any constraints but the point how you can take inputs because let's say the question is about array then in the array question you need to take the input of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, something like this. Now, they will not specify some time in which particular manner your input is getting to you. Okay, so at that time, firstly, try your brute force, take your random input. If your code is able to take that random input, fantastic. But if it is not, prepare for the worst case because I covered n number of ways how you can take the input because at 2024 in April and May shift or June shift people were demanding that I was not able to take input not able to take input and not able to take input but after this video most of the people got an intuition what can be the worst case and how you can uh, prepare according to that so yes please watch this before your exam otherwise you will end up submitting no questions either you know the solution but still if your compiler is not favoring you then your knowledge is just waste yes guys and if you are from python this is the thing that we'll discuss in this particular video because writing a simple python code will not work you need to do some modifications so i am aditya you are watching prime coding and today we'll see how to take input in tcs and qt and the previous five years of all unique question set yes guys we'll deep dive into everything so stay tuned till the end and like this video now let's Let's discuss what I mean by Python. Okay, so for everyone going to write test on 4 to 6, like is, this is the date that people stated in April, I guess in June. Okay, I guess in June date it is there. So if there is an indentation error, okay, because if you put, because their compiler is not uh, being produced or created in such a way that if you put enter, you will end up having the indentation maintained. But you need to maintain by yourself so most of the people what to do is they use tab so this guy who experienced this and cracked that that's why i am re-discussing about it so two blank spaces manually do not use tab so please guys this is a very important news you need to follow so if an indentation to be given let's say for example the grade post if a given into zero press enter okay now space space b given into nine press enter why enter because people usually create multiple lines in the compiler and they start moving their mouse to write the code but don't do that for every at every line press enter press enter press enter else press enter space space don't use tab because people do have habit of pressing tab because one tab will give you four spaces is it so don't do that in this case otherwise you will be pissed off please Try to maintain thing that I am specifying here. Please do mention two spaces, D given to 10 and press enter. Otherwise your code will not run. So do not print anything while taking example like this. So this is a very bad habit that I can also observe in their mock session because people are very brilliant that they are prepared with their NQT exam and taking the mock session so that if any of the role that they qualified for, they definitely is their interviews, okay? So enter your value. When I used to give them, they you should write this, which is not at all acceptable on the compiler. In the compiler, just x equivalent to input, okay? Input, that's it. You don't need to write anything between that, such as comments, okay? So do not print statement anywhere other than print your final answer since the first statement that gets printed will be considered as answer. So please make a note of it and walk around for the problem to print values for debugging. 100% recommendation, my personal advice would be this because I also use this technique to debug my code. Okay, so try to print at every line whenever you're finding some errors. Now, is use try catch block if it is possible to format input and this can be the thing that you can use. So execute into input, so space space x equal nine zero and exception would be this so that you will get to know that in which format 
the your output is gone the input is coming from the compiler and what actually the error because this will catch up the error and let you know how you can tackle that as well but now if you are from c++ guys if you are from c++ java and python a one tip thing that i want to tell you is if you are not able to submit your code okay you should find a info button on your compiler side okay near the submit button or in the output screen somewhere there is an info button whoever guys whoever found that info button in their april june shift they were able to crack their NQT exam for sure because in that info button you will end up having all the error information which line you are getting the error why you are getting the error what is the actual purpose and how you can overcome from it this is why you should find this info because if you get to know about the error then definitely you will encounter that and solve that question particularly so please guys do focus on it and let's talk about from 2018 to 2024 i found out all set of problems yes i remember that you are asking me the sub array series but aditya this because tomorrow is exam if you start with playing the sub array then number theories and stuff then it may happen that you are not able to cover all the pattern topics so in this particular sheet you have you have guys top 30 top 30 questions which is of different pattern and Tried, I tried my best to make it unique, as unique as it possible because it contains matrix problem, pattern based problems, uh, array problem, sub array problem, string problem and much more. You name it and you will get it. I created it in this particular fashion is I didn't put any hard level problems such as DP and string manipulation hard level problems because my main motto is you should get a pretty good idea and thus pretty good grip on your skills skills means your fundamentals okay you are able to solve few questions or not let's say if i put some hard questions here and you are attempting that you're not able to solve then definitely you will be demoted or demotivated okay so don't go in that phase try to solve it because these questions are very easy it's not that hard okay so whatever question you are able to solve into your mind just skip that one but the question you feel it is hard or it's a medium level you need to write because the clear approach is not coming to your mind and definitely try this question out and write the code from scratch from scratch okay then only you will get to know where you are actually doing the errors and don't write your code on the compilers write your code on your notepad or on the google sheets or on the word sheet because there you will not get any autocomplete and syntax indentation and stuff how i told just now what you need to follow to take the appropriate input you need to follow that way as well okay because you have a good habit of pressing enter going to the next line not maintaining the indentation because it's automatically maintained by the advanced compiler this feature is not there in your tcs and qt exam so be aware of it now find numbers non-repeated it contains many as i said it contains all type okay all type of question and it will be good shot because if you are able to solve all of these then definitely you can solve your two or three programming question very easily otherwise you are able to solve at least one question for sure and then that let me know guys what all question you got in the comment section so that i can tell you the best approach and why your code is not working and also your codes that will provide to me or your question that you're going to provide to me on telegram linkedin anything the links would be in the description so that you can help your peers and juniors and will also give you a shout out that you shared so that if someone want to thank you they can reach out to you and thanks for the question if they got in the upcoming shifts because tcs do repeat the same pattern in upcoming shift shifts okay so do check that out if your exam is on 5th of october then definitely the 3rd of october question and the 4th of october question you need to be thorough with because if i got this question i will predict that or i will let you know that what question can come in the fifth of shift okay can come okay because i created a two hour of array video in particular from that video only the similar pattern came up if you not believe me you just watch my all shift answer solution of tcs and qt april june shift then i told i specifically marked this question came from this video and this question came from this sheet as well as it also applies on the essential because i created a set of problems and from that sheet essential is using and finding out the question to ask in their online assessment so do check this out because this contains all the basic conditions okay so yes 
top 30 problems and where you can find this problem is you just need to join my telegram group the link is in the description and if you're not able to join ping me on the instagram i will personally share to you this particular sheet and the point is is you need to join there is a rose bot if you are new to our channel she will welcome you with a welcome message as well as she will also provide the drive link okay and if you are a already existed person then definitely you can go in the drive link you can find this drive link in the pinned message above in the group just beside or belong side of title you can find the pinned message you just click it one two times you will get this drive link and in that drive link go to the tcs folder and you'll end up having this sheet which is totally free i'm not charging anything i am just charging a like okay a like button and a share button to your friend so that your friend can also crack these companies and make their future bright instead of sharing the reels share these types of videos so that they can study okay and if by using your share if he got shortlisted then definitely will remember you throughout his life okay and do subscribe it because guys as you can see all this question has been handmade because i got very less pixel pictures i research on internets going on very miscellaneous websites and stuff then only i end up having these problems into my hand okay in from that question bank as well finding the unique one so that the question will be crisp and it is easy to practice as well okay so yes please subscribe our channel and guys if you're trusting it for the preparation so please trust us because the mock interview can transform your interview opportunity into the offer letter and make your parents proud because it is a one hour one hour of extensive mock session where we'll check your core skills your subject skills your resume based question skills your theoretical problems your explanation everything and this all be taken by the tcs prime experts as well as full interview simulation you will end up having the full vibe of the interview and in the last as you can see in the personalized feedback will let you know how what you did in this one hour of session and what all you need to improve and how you can improve yourself see if you get to know about your weakness beforehand to your interview then definitely you will ace it because you don't have any weakness with you now okay because most of the people being very overconfident okay i know it i can ace it but this will only give you a chance okay if you miss this chance then definitely you will end up having nothing nothing guys because off campus there are many students who will keep on applying it so you got this opportunity in your hand and few hundreds of bucks which is totally spendable if you go out in a day okay so just few hundred bucks will give you a lakhs of rupees worth package so what are you waiting for is it just head on to prime coding dot in and go to the plans just Fetch that plan, get your weakness and ace your interview because we have, we have massive success rate. Okay. Don't forget to let me know the coding question that you got in the description or anywhere on my social handles. You can find these in the uh, description below. Okay. Or you can reach out to in the comment section as well. I will be very happy to see and help your junior peers by uploading the solutions on it. So we'll meet you with a new video soon. Till then, see off and all the best.